Hey, hey. If you didn't like my last videos, this one you'll find electrifying. Ugh, bad joke. Dave here, and uh, I'm still working here on my home theater. And uh, you can see some of the things going on, like over there I got paint samples and uh, I've got my projector box that's going to go up in the soffit over there. But um, today I'm going to talk about electrical. And a few years ago I always knew that I was going to put in a home theater, so I put the sub panel in. And this main feed wire goes up into the attic, and then all the way over, down into the garage, into the main panel. So I had the sub panel put in, and it's run a few things down here, but now it's really being utilized for my space. So um, it's got a 50 amp breaker, but uh, you want to make sure that uh, you've got plenty of power down here. Now everybody's power is going to be a little bit different. I'm probably doing a little bit of overkill, uh, because that's just my nature. Um, I always tend to over-engineer things. But uh, I've got a plug here where I'm going to have two 20 amp circuits. And down here is going to be my cabinet for my audio rack. So it'll be plenty of electricity over here. Um, this is being turned into a closet, so I've put in some recessed lighting. And I've got some effects lighting here. So like uh, I've got th these three lights that are already recessed. These are going behind the stage to illuminate all of the equipment that I'm going to have over here. And then I've got these three lights. They're still kind of hanging, but those are going to be with surround uh, black surrounds and the ceiling is going to be black. So they're just kind of hanging now, um, but eventually that'll be all taken care of. And the neat thing about it is that these are going to reflect off the screen and bounce that light back into the room because we're going to be painting such dark colors. You know, when we turn on the lights, we want to be able to see where we're going. And uh, a couple of other things I put in, like up here, I've got uh, plugs to add LED lighting. And then down here, and then all the way over there, let me zoom in. Feeling lazy today, don't want to walk, got another plug. Let's just add some more electricity over here, like if I'm running powered subwoofers. So I'll have uh, two 20 amp circuits over here and over there as well. So, um, but as you can see, I've got a whole rat's nest of wires running everywhere. I think going up in the ceiling and yeah, it is a mess, but I'm gonna tidy it up. Ooh, I just hit my head. But uh, I'm gonna be running lights all through here, through the whole soffit. So you gotta make sure you got plenty of electricity, you got wires running through here. And be careful, I really screwed up. I drove that staple in right there under that nail and I didn't realize it. I ended up breaking the wire. So I fixed it and that's not exactly the code, but uh, it'll be okay. And uh, oh yeah, here, this is power for the projector. That's going to go into that box over there that I built. And I've got another wire right here. We've got it kind of tied up because I'm going to have an illuminated column going over here. And I'm really looking forward to building that. So uh, that's it for just some basic electrical. Make sure that you have enough power so you can run everything that you want to. And that's got to be one of the first things you think about because electricity, you know, all your wires, that gets pulled through the walls. You want to make sure that uh, you got enough power, you got enough plugs, you got enough to drive your lighting and all your special effects. So uh, that's about it. If you have any questions for me on how to do electrical, well actually, YouTube is a great place to find all the answers you could ever want on electrical. That's how I learned how to do electrical. And I was always very intimidated by it. No problem, it's actually really, really easy. Just watch a bunch of videos and you can learn how to do plugs, pull wires, uh, how to do sub panels. Oh yeah, remember, in a sub panel, you always have to do the bus bar. So if you buy a sub panel and attach it to your main panel, you always have to do a bus bar. A lot of electricians don't even know that, um, and they do it wrong. When I talk about electricians, I'm talking about like, you know, guys who are learning or guys that claim to be electricians or handymen. Um, bus bar on sub panels, always. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. That's okay. I can take the criticism. And uh, subscribe because I've got more videos coming explaining how I'm building my home theater 
uh, have a great day.